how do we grow beautiful lush organic fresh food at home that is pest free resistant to loss of disease produces lots of abundant food saves you a ton of money and is fun to do what is the secret well it's all about soils getting your soils right guys and today this video is for you and we've got a special guest let's roll it stay to the end because there's lots to learn today So the guys down there adding two types of material to those new beds. Now those beds are being set up for six months growth period of capsicum. So they're adding a nice thick layer of manure, our composted fermented manure. And then on top of that, they're adding a fermented wood chip that is blended with manure. Now beneath that is 12 months of material slowly being added on top. So it's a gorgeous, micro fantastic biology layers of goodness that we're not really disturbing once we add on to so the the layers that the guys add on today they will be mixed with a low very low shallow till six inches max but below that we've added maybe 10 to 12 inches over the last 12 months of material that is just full of life and soil health so over time, as you're building on top of the soils, you're not only building a deeper soil profile for when it rains, so it stores more water and you have to use less water over time because you know, we can obviously have droughts here and things like that, but you're also creating better drainage for when there is more rain. So could you explain it? Oh, I just love going out there to 560 Farms to pick up my cow manure to add to the compost here. For my garden, my garden's going absolutely ballistic as spring is just like, well, the equinox is already, we're getting longer days, so spring really is officially here, but on the calendar, it starts September 1st, which I'm really, really excited about because I can feel these warmer days. Look, no jacket, no coat on. I'm out here just t-shirt and me Marty's garden shirt, see? Marty's garden, love my shirt and getting around the place. And so we're building our compost here to improve our soils. Now I'm very lucky because I have a compost business, right? That we actually have lots of compost around so we can use it. We're using the spent stuff that goes through after we sift it, the older stuff that we're not selling and putting that back into composting systems and also building our garden beds up. So we're so close to hitting what I call acceleration point, which is something I might talk about later on down the line where the multiplication of it just starts going absolutely mental. And uh, let me know if you want to hear about acceleration point down in the comments down below. It's about the whole garden expanding and growing quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And so eventually you get to a stage where it's less work for you, more harvests, and you get really beneficial crops. Now, the beauty of growing in organic soils and composts, worm cast and living biology, is plants, they just grow much healthier. They just love living in that stuff. It's nature's way intended to grow in, right? And so you get less pest problems because pests attack unhealthy plants first. You get less disease because the same thing, disease goes for unhealthy plants first. And you start attracting more bees and insects and, and birds and all really cool stuff. And once you get to that balance where everything's really balanced and you're not having to go in with any types of sprays or anything like that, you hit the acceleration point. And then from there on, it's just caretaking and just, just it's always about caretaking, but you're building the soils on top. So your levels and you keep building up, disturbing it as less as possible and allowing to build a soil profile. So when it rains, the water goes right down deep and every time you're building, the water can store down deeper and deeper and when you're watering, raining, it's locking down further and further. So it means each time that the roots as you're planting out go down further and further and further and further, able to reach more nutrition 
and able to get deeper into those subsoils and the worms that are coming through are going, hey man, this is a great place to live. I'm gonna have another family here. I'm gonna build my family up. Actually, let's have great grandchildren very soon. <laughs> you know, and then you hit this acceleration point. And lots and lots of amazing food. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. But what I want you to understand is building your soil profile so you can get there too. So as you're building the layers, you want to always put on a nice mulch. Make sure the water can get through when it rains and stuff like that. Keeping your soil cooler in summer and warmer in winter. I really like sugarcane, light wood chip, things like that. Things that break down faster, obviously cost you a bit more money, but you're getting that soil nutrition and building on that web much quicker. And then you get closer to what I call acceleration point. And that means bigger harvests for you more tasty nutritious food because it just tastes absolutely unreal when you're growing it like that and so how do we do it well we really do need to add good quality compost to our soils and unfortunately it's getting harder and harder to get because these companies they just want to cut costs there's a magpie speak to me birds i just I just love it out here in the morning so getting back to it the companies are cutting costs and they're just finding cheaper and cheaper ways these big monk you know like the guys like the head ceos and the board and they're going do this do that do this and do that and the head horticulturist has got no say near the end of it basically he's like oh, i don't want to do that but he's got no choice because he's stuck in this job with this big company and he's being told what to do i'm very lucky in that regard where i can just go hey i'll do what i want to do and i know what's good i'm going to do the very best i can with what i've got to provide a superior product to these other crew to help people grow healthy, nutritious food at home. Now, if you wanna hear more about the acceleration point down below, and it's not gonna to get too confusing for you, maybe we'll bring it up in the next video. I could say I've gotta reach 80 likes, and then we'll do it, yeah, right? I usually get about 50, 60. We can reach 80 likes, then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. Anyway, listen, that's enough for today. I'll see you at the next video real soon. I'm going to go and hang out with my wife, Shirley. We've got other composting stuff to do here. We're getting close to spring and lots of locals coming to buy our compost. Thanks, guys. If that's you, you're coming to support Marty's Garden here and help us. You wouldn't believe how much it's been. It's just been, you guys have been a true blessing to me, really, really have. And, uh, yeah, I'm speechless. I truly am how the support I've had. All right. Have a great day. Happy everything. God bless. We'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.